Welcome once again to our City Changes program where we have people in the studio sharing their stories of city transformation on a profound way. And today we've got the privilege to have Captain Ilza Jones from the police force with us. And um, it's great to have you here, Captain Jones. Thank you very much. Um, we've been friends for a few years, but it's great to have you in the studio as well. Uh, the first time we have someone from the police here. Um, but uh, behind every uniform, there's a real person with a family. So maybe just tell us what, what your life is like. Thank you very much, Top. The, the honor is all mine. I really believe that uh, what you say is, um, which I don't think people always realize, is that there's really, there is really a person. Mm. I've been in the service for 28 years, uh, working under different situations. Um,
of, of renovating, come paint, uh, the lights are insufficient in, in the passages and there were so much different things than just bringing maybe cupcakes tomorrow or, or just spreading the word or just opening by prayer, um, um, which sounded unreal um, at first. And they immediately bought into my uh, uh, understanding or my wish to say, but all of this is once off. Uh, bringing them hot dogs is, is once off. Um, being part of them, understanding where they come from, understanding that there's uh, few members on the station with, with uh, children with disability mm. um, that needs to come and work uh, day in, day out, that that has a lot, lot of different issues, financial issues, that issues, um, and being there, not always uh, giving money, not always um, um, just giving them something to eat tomorrow, but lifting them spiritually, lifting them, giving them hope mm. to make them believe that, that they make a difference and, and, and that they, uh, irrespective of their, their own problems, uh, um, that it, it can only go uh, forward and it can only get better. And so, so it was instead of just coming in at time, it's journeying with being there, building relationship with. Yes. Um, because I think that's what, what we see happen. The moment when someone is valued, mm. when, when I know what you're going through, or even just appreciate mm. uh, the things that you're doing, mm. understand that it's not easy. And I think the consistent being there in the various ways you've mentioned, yes. you know, looking at the well-being of the building and the people, and uh, I know that, that they've um, sent messages and uh, blessing on birthdays for people and, and really being praying for um, and I think that's what made the difference at the police station. Maybe just reflect what influence did the constant involvement of the church uh, had on the police station at Kashwanta? Obviously, the renovations and stuff only contributes a small percentage. Mm. Um, uplifting a person in, in him or her um, individual role, um, giving that birthday small gift with a personalized message from God out of the Bible, which your the meaning of your name, mm. connecting it with a Bible verse, mm. uh, um, uh, start knowing that person's children, knowing who's sick, knowing who's passed away, calling them on their names, uh, visiting them at re uh, uh, shift changes and stuff, mm. and the the WhatsApp group that was was activated and and to send a message anytime someone is sick, asking for a prayer and, and speaking to some of the people. Uh, um, members don't always feel comfortable in, in dealing with their personal issues at the office. There's not enough time at the office mm -hmm. uh, um, and they don't feel comfortable sometimes, maybe for different reasons, not trusting, not that. But, but Doxos people came in and uh, listening to, but how, how is things at your home? How's your children doing? How's the new school? How's that? Mm -hmm. um, um, and that made them feel, I'm actually a person. This, mm -hmm. the, this community is, is making okay. me feel as a person, as a mother, as a father. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. And I think for so long, the community actually demanded uh, service from people who were never really supported by the community, the same community that yeah. wanted that. Yeah. Uh, Ilza, we've, as church, seen a great need to take hands and serve together. Yes. Uh, it, uh, it, it's not the first time that people have been involved in, in, in one-off projects, yes. like you said, but we really want to see how police stations become a beacon of hope and light to a community, not a place to, to be fearful or to expect a yes. low-performance yes. service. Um, lately, we've heard of more momentum happening. Maybe just tell us of what has happened the last few weeks. Yes. Um, um, being in the Twani Central Cluster with seven stations um, and also having good relations with other clusters and so, um, um, every time we give in our monthly reports and they say, oh, you had another project with Doxadeo, you had another project yeah, with Doxadeo, not only a once or if it's not gardening, it's Mother's Day, Father's Day, mm -hmm. concentrating on that person um, um, who needs to give you the service delivery mm -hmm. um, um, uh, and being at a Swanee cent Central Cluster um, event last week again, different stations came, um, which we put them in um, contact with, other clusters saying, but wow, uh, we got a call and, and we're grabbing this opportunity. It always, you make it sound so great. 
um, that, that we're grabbing at this opportunity. And mostly they're saying, let's see, uh, let them see where they can put their money where their mouths are. Yes. Um, and if they're this sending that God really send them, because you made it make it sound so wonderful. And, and I've heard that there's really a few stations and local schools and communities that, that has been saying, we can see the difference, even though they're not specific from, from that specific Doxa Deo um, community. Coming, what, what is different here? Why is it different? Mm. Um, we want to do what you're doing. Mm. You say, well, you know, just pick up with your local, your church, just believe, just get hope. Mm. Um, just get the people who, who carries that message of hope. Mm. Um, Gavin Jones, for you to be here, I think is just a testimony of a, a city where church and police take hands and a community to say, just say that whatever happens here, we want to see that uh, the rule of God, the peace of God reigns. And you're doing fantastic work. And I want to honor you and appreciate you for what you're doing. I know it's tough. I know it's very hard. But um, I pray that God will sustain the wonderful work that has happened there, that this relationship will just grow from strength to strength. Um, and may God really bless you and give you the power and the wisdom and the knowledge to be the best uh, police person and serve in the community. Thank you for what you're doing. And send our greetings to everyone. And we're looking forward to the many more testimonies of what God is doing. So thank you for being here. And thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Tops.